guys, it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Ask Elise and I'm not alone in this room by the way. Jamie is also here. Hi! Um, she's going to be actually reading the questions today so I have no idea what is going to be asked of me. But before I start that I want to address this outfit. Doing my makeup today I was like I'm going to work with the green shadows from the Dare to Create palette by Morphe and I was started off doing that and then it just turned and evolved into green everything. So that's what I've done and don't judge me for it. I kind of love it. Who cares? Anyway, it is time to start the Ask Elise. Hi guys. <laughs> Jamie, I'm ready for the first question. If you could spend the whole day with the girls, what would you do? Ooh. If I could spend the day with the girls, I would like to be backstage at their show. I don't know why that is appealing to me, but that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, be behind the stage and be like... Okay, so hashtag Ask Elise, favourite movie? Ooh, I have so many. Okay, my ultimate favourite movie of all damn time is School of Rock. That is the best movie of all damn time. I could watch from start to end and literally say every line in that movie. Also love Daddy Daycare, that's a great time. And I like Baby Mama. Here comes your baby mama driving a Suzuki. Sorry, okay. Yep. If you had to eat one dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? <clears throat> okay. Um, right now I'm a big fan of Caesar salad, but I'd know I'd get over that in like a week. So I'd probably say like sushi or if it's like a dinner dish, my, we call it dad's pasta in my family, but basically it's like tortellini, creamy pasta kind of situation. Can you spill some tea about your upcoming trip to the UK? Ooh! Nothing is set in stone yet. It's all in the works with my family because my cousin is in Oxford University and he's graduating soon so he wants all of us there so that's really what's going to happen so that's all I'm gonna say. Favourite Ariana Grande song? Ooh! My favourite Ariana Grande song is I Don't Care. That's some crazy shit before Feel so obligated to be so much more Come on, get to it. Yeah. to be, but if I can't be me, the fuck's the point? <laughs> oh, you can see it. <laughs> so space buns Let's girl. talk about this hairstyle. <laughs> yes! If you could feature on any Little Mix song and remix it, what song would you choose? Ah! Um, I would want to be on We Are Who We Are Who We Are. Because that's my favorite song. Well, not my favorite song of all time, but it's just a great message and I love it a lot. I love that song. Yeah, Pretty is just a pretty word. That's the best line in the whole song. I know. What are your goals for 2018? My goals for 2018 is to hit 20k subscribers on here. Did you delete your love on the brain cover or did it get removed? Okay. All my covers I have uploaded, so three. I put on unlisted. Um, the main reason being they got a lot of hate in the spam section of my comments So what you guys see under the video is just the comments that aren't um, What's the right word? They are the ones that aren't filtered. So when I logged in after I put up my love on the brain cover The amount of hateful and hurtful things that were there. I was like, oh, maybe Singing's not for my channel. Maybe that's something that you know, I'll put on a You know a, a vlog or something. I don't know but yeah, it's just something that I was like, ooh, that's not it. And it really actually hit home. There was one that was like really like, I put it on Twitter if you want to go find it. Um, but it was really, really, really hurtful. I was like, ooh. So I took a hiatus from YouTube for like a week and a bit. And then I came back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came back for the Brits like hate video. And then I was like, you know what? I'm back. I don't care. But at the same time as that hiatus, my dog actually passed away. So it kind of... All this sort of stuff kind of happened in that one week and I was like, it's time to take time off YouTube. But I'm back. Here I am. I couldn't be greater, so work. What made you want to start YouTube? I was watching Nicole Guerrero on YouTube. She's the one who got me into makeup. It's all her fault. And I was like, I can do that. I can sit on a, in front of a, a laptop at the time. I can sit in front of a laptop and talk to it like there's a zillion and one people behind it. There was like five people watching at the time. Um, they're probably all my friends too. YouTube is something I always wanted to do because I watched Nicole and then after Nicole, like all the beauty gurus, I found like Shane Dawson and Joey Graceffer and people like that. And I was like, there's a whole world that I have no idea what's going on. So I kind of 
fell into YouTube. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to change my channel from beauty. And I might throw in some things that I'm actually really passionate about. Little Mix. So I worked that into my channel. Now I'm trying to work in like drag queens and all sorts of stuff like that. It's not really working too well, but we're getting there. How did you get into makeup? Love you so much, Elise. Makeup was something I always loved watching my mum do. My mum would grab foundation and go like this and throw some eyeshadow on and a fun lip and be done. So when my mum would do her makeup, I'd stand next to her and be like, oh, I want to do that. And then I would do makeup for um, my dance concerts and they were really ugly. We had blue eyeshadow on the bottom, white on the top. It was a whole situation. I would do that and I thought I looked really pretty. And then I look in the videos and I'm like, ha! Huh! So I'd do that. And then I watched Nicole Guerrero on YouTube. The rest is history. Practice makes perfect. First app you check when you wake up in the morning. First app I check is Twitter. 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 Why am I dancing? I don't know. But I do check Twitter first, check my mentions, all that sort of stuff. And then I log on to Instagram, check what Instagram's up to, like some comments. And um, after that, I'll go eat Leap Mix. What is your favourite Little Mix moment ever? My favourite Little Mix moment ever is when the Power Music video came out. Because from seeing like a lot of like drag happen, here I am talking about drag again, <laughs> look at me. Seeing all the drag happen and then all of a sudden... Boom, boom, boom. Courtney Willem and Alaska in my favourite band of all damn time. Like, <laughs> just meshed well. And I was like, <gasps> also drunk at the Brits. That's a fun time. Who is your favourite drag race winner, all stars included? Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it's put after, you need it. Just put it, just say it. Just I'll say be it. like filmed on. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be Alaska was everything for me. Like, top number, what is this? <laughs> She's be like top number one for me and then Trixie went on all stars and she went billion miles an hour with like everything every day and I was like oh my god I love her so much and just yeah so Trixie's really overtaken Alaska these days so and her music her music's everything so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a giant thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe while you're there and uh, I will see you in my next video whatever that is whenever that is okay Bye. I'm so shady in this video. I'm sorry. Bye. I never meant to break your heart. I never meant to break your heart. I never meant to pull you apart, but I do it all over again. I never meant to break your heart, but I do it again. I do it again.